Have you ever been told that you should schedule spicy time with your spouse or that, you know, if you're struggling in your marriage, have more sex, put it on the calendar, make sure it happens? What if I told you you cannot grant future consent for sexual activities? Consent needs to be freely given, reversible, informed, enthusiastic, and specific, also known as the Fry's model of consent. And if we are basing consent off of all of these criteria, you cannot grant future consent because it needs to be able to be granted in the moment because consent can change at any moment, even if you're in the middle of the act. Now I have everybody in my comment saying, well, we schedule and it works great for us. Yeah, I don't deny that for a small number of couples, this is fine and it works okay. However, scheduling sex leads to a sense of obligation, a sense of I can't say no. And it also opens the doorway for marital coercion to happen, even if that is not the intention. Because if you say, if you get to your scheduled Thursday evening and you're just not feeling it, that's like a wide open door for your spouse to say, but I was looking forward to it and it's been so long and oh, I can't believe that you're just not in the mood. It's on the calendar. We have to, you know, we have to stick to the calendar. So scheduling has the potential to lead down an unhealthy path. Do I think that you're going to start, you know, healthy and immediately become unhealthy if you're scheduling? No. Do I think that it is unnecessarily introducing risk to the equation? Yes. So what am I proposing as the solution you are asking? We know that sex is meant to be the celebration of intimacy that you have already established before that you ever reach the bedroom. And so I propose that you schedule evenings of intimacy. I wrote a month-long guide designed to help you walk through each of the 12 types of intimacy because there's more than just sex. And so twice a week, have 20 minutes where you are intentionally connecting with each other. And by not worrying about how often you are having sex, the sex will start to happen naturally out of the overflow of all the other intentional intimacy that you are engaging in. Nobody needs to keep track of how often they are getting an orgasm or how many times in a month it is happening. Because when we are focusing on a healthy marriage and healthy views of intimacy, the sex takes care of itself. When you are feeling close and intimate, you want to have more sex. It's amazing how that works. Go have good sex.